ओके सो डॉक्टर द थिंग इज दैट आई सबमिटेड माई पेपर टू अर्नल दे have went through the peer review they have changed it they have now accepted it but now i but now i found some other journal where this can have a much bigger value so how do i tell the journal that no i don't want to publish with you what i have read is that they all have a retraction policy through which we can pull back our thing so is there something like this and how this thing can be done or or we cannot pull back once they have accepted how these things are uh, first of all mr chandan you are asking me two different questions on two different paradigms mm -hmm. now let me first of all tell you what exactly is a retraction policy after that after this uh, discussion but first of all what you are asking me is that that suppose your paper is accepted and you don't want to move ahead with the paper in that particular journal what is the answer so the first thing is that it is not a good way that you have the acceptance for one journal and now you are putting up with the second journal which means that you have already submitted that paper two times only then you are withdrawing it so the first thing is that it is unethical so when you submit a paper in one journal unless or until you don't get the acceptance rejection or any transfer decision don't touch that paper and don't submit on any of the submitting platform whether it is editorial manager scholar one or any of the journal submission system so that it should not be like a violation of the submission policies okay because they already tell you this check that whether you have submitted this paper to any other journal or not so you should make it sure okay now coming to that so i have to give some answer that suppose your paper got accepted in journal abc and now you have a opportunity with journal def so uh, i'm sorry but you can try but i uh, but because i don't have an experience on that particular aspect that whether the journal will accept you or not you can just write an email that sir we want to withdraw this paper from this journal but you have to mention the clauses but clauses what can be you have to decide because there should be minimum clauses so should, you should not write that okay i am getting the paper in some other journal i am taking this paper to some other journal which can even lead to bad prospects for your next level of submissions in that particular journal so you can write an email to the journal but don't consider that it will be done and it is unethical let me clear you that now coming to retraction retraction is a total different picture that you are asking me now what is retraction suppose you published a paper and you took most of the work from other sources which is called plagiarism and if after the publication plagiarism is detected like suppose you took some of my ideas and you put the same algorithm and you take the same line of research without even citing me or even with citing me and i find that most of the paper is having the novelty which is claimed by you is matching with my publication i will immediately write an email to the editor in chief and to the publishing manager they will investigate the paper and after that they will give you the show cause notice that sir there is a researcher that has claimed that he has his published paper and you have taken this much of idea so if the if the things gets proved that okay your idea is less and other things then the paper will be withdrawn they will say retracted on the journal website like on elsevier springer that this paper is retracted due to plagiarism issues and it is a big black spot on the brain and on the reputation of the researcher mm -hmm. okay second thing retraction means that it is not going to end your career but it is going to give you lots of challenges because there is a website called retractionpolicy.com you must see that website and to put that link on the video down below so that people should see and you can see that lots of researchers i will not take the name of the country i will not take the name of the people you can see that lots of people are facing retractions and even this website is very clear that why they face the retraction and what was the case all about okay so retraction means that the paper was found blatant and it is copied it is not having proper instances or fake data or any other thing that after the publication editor in chief finds or they get a complaint against your paper so they can write uh, they can they can withdraw your paper and they will write that this paper is retracted due to this area okay now another thing which i would like to tell you that sometimes if your paper is accepted and it is online okay and after that and we all know what is happening in the special issues these days that the quality of the papers and sometimes the scope of the papers don't match okay 
And this even happened to one of my friend. He got his uh, paper accepted in one of the reputed journals of Elsevier. And after that, there was some problem with the special issue and there was expression of concern by editor in chief. Mm -hmm. And what they said, and they can even do that, uh, that sir, this paper is accepted, but we cannot publish the paper. We cannot assign this volume and issue number to that paper because the quality and the matching standards is not matching to the levels of the journal. So that mm -hmm. is again a problem with expression of concern. And the paper will also be seen that the paper is retracted or the paper is withdrawn due to expression of concerns of this, this problem. So mm -hmm. retraction and expression of concern basically means that after the publication, the paper was not found in proper quality, paper was having plagiarism issue, and the paper was withdrawn or retracted by the journal from online website. So my suggestion again, go to retraction uh, watch, sorry, the website is retractionwatch.com and you can even write retraction policy on Google. You can see those websites and see what is happening to the researchers and you will be shocked to see the problems. And lots of the papers which I've seen from the last web, from the last known websites of retraction watch that people are getting the expression that, okay, sir, your data is uh, getting some fake data. You didn't declare that particular thing. COVID-19 papers are really very much into the alert error of retractions okay so this is according to me is a retraction and uh, it only and it is a it's a bad policy so my suggestion to all of you to please first of all check the plagiarism it should be less than 20 percent as per turned in and i authenticate you don't have to copy paste any image if you are using any image take the copyright uh, transfer form from the original author the third thing, which is very important, don't copy paste the novelty of others and make it sure that your work is original. And last but not the least, your language and your scope should be properly matching the journal so that you should not face any problem even uh, after the publication. And you know, Mr. Chandan, what I would like to tell you, you will be stunned that even some people, if you see the retractionwatch.com, this website, which is the only website that can tell you that what is happening in the real time, even some people are even getting the problems in their papers after three years of publication. And even uh, there are some cases that one professor was after the journal and it has took him 10 years to get the paper retracted because the paper was not up to the mark. And even there were some problems that one student has even claimed that, okay, sir, I was under pressure. So that's why I have taken the ideas from this, this paper. So please retract my paper. So you will find lots of stories, lots of silly stories and lots of shocking stories on this website retractionwatch.com. So please go and watch this and keep an eye on it, what is happening. And please be vigilant and careful when you are submitting your research and you are doing your research work. Very important. Okay. So thank you. This is my answer with regard to your retraction policy. I hope the users and you have got clear vision, uh, clear vision that what exactly is a retraction policy. Okay. Thank you so much, sir.